Dorset's heathland is one of the best remaining examples of this important ancient habitat. This network of open heaths is home to more than 5,000 species of invertebrates. But the land was once vital for people and their livestock too. And it was their activities that helped shape the heathland into a haven for the wildlife that lives here today. Grazing and foraging exposed patches of sand and created depressions where shallow pools formed. These became home to some unique species, like the heath tiger beetle, the smooth snake, and the southern damselfly. Back from the brink made Dorset's heathland heart a priority because in a little over 200 years, 85% of the habitat has been lost. This groundbreaking project has aimed to secure a future for heathland in Dorset, for people and for the heath specialists that call this place home. But to do this, collaboration was going to be the key. Restoring Dorset's fragmented heathland habitat wouldn't have been possible without willing landowners keen to learn and share how to improve the land for the species that live here. The project team, led by Plant Life, was able to achieve a massive amount of work in a short space of time by teaming up with conservation partner organisations and crews of dedicated local volunteers. We've been on nearly every survey they've done in the last year and a bit. You can go out on your own and do surveys or you can go with a group and do surveys. And it's smashing because you meet all different kinds of people. You learn far more from being outside and, and being with like-minded people and it's people within the group that have got the knowledge we haven't got. The programme of regular surveys throughout the project has allowed us to see whether our hard work is paying off. Obviously we use visual surveys but sometimes you put these sheets down and these can't attract some of the different species, they just sit underneath. But for smooth snake this is the best type of survey. In general we don't handle the animals. So just have a quick look, record it, put the tin back down slowly and just walk off. Our teams of volunteers have been invaluable in helping us to gather this information that is crucial to us now and which we hope will be part of the legacy of the Dorset's Heathland Heart Project. So we've got a nice south-facing bank. The sand's pretty compact, open to the sun. Uh, so that's going to get a lot of, lot of heat throughout the year to incubate the eggs. Here we go, there's a good example of a sand lizard test burrow. Uh, what we've got here has got a nice flat D shape, probably about an inch across, uh, in perfect, uh, perfect conditions. Understanding the state of the populations of our priority species has allowed us to plan our species recovery actions. Dotted throughout Dorset's Heath are bare patches of ground that provide important space for sand lizards to bask and for the locally endemic Purbeck mason wasp to nest. Our teams of volunteers have helped us to keep these patches open by keeping plants at bay. We have also worked with contractors to excavate new areas. While removing trees here may seem strange at a time when forests are being replanted around the country, many of our heathland species have evolved and adapted over time to these open habitats. So yes, tree planting is important, but it has to be the right trees in the right places. As the number of our ancestors who used the heaths for grazing became fewer and fewer, many shallow freshwater ponds created by the grazing patterns of cattle became overgrown. The project team has opened up ponds and even flooded new areas to help the threatened southern damselfly. fly. 
Dorset's heathland has been important for people throughout history. We want it to be enjoyed and valued by people today and into the future. That's why Back From The Brink has worked with local artists, schools, filmmakers and photographers to celebrate the wealth of species that live here and the work that is being done to protect it.